So we might have just got some news on what's the next move for the Halloween franchise. We have to talk about this. Let's get into it. <laughs> What's up, I Like Scary? We are back. I hope you all have an amazing day. I'm having an amazing day. It feels great to be a horror fan. So you all, moments ago over on Bloody Disgusting, we got an article about what's possibly the next move for the Halloween franchise. And the Halloween franchise update, you guys. This is crazy. But before we get into this, Definitely smash the like button because it definitely helps. Also, make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time I drop cool videos like this. You guys, so I'm so excited. So to kind of give you guys a rundown before I get into the article, we find out that the license for the Halloween franchise is right now being shopped around Hollywood, um, Miramax. You know, Halloween is, is back in the yard with Miramax and everything. So this is crazy. I cannot wait to get into this article. But I knew, you know, I've heard that things going on with the Halloween franchise, you know, bid and wars and stuff like that. And this confirms it. So, yes, it's a bid and war from what we're seeing in this article going on with a lot of companies right now for the Halloween franchise. So things are already kicking back up that quick. You guys know Michael's the face of the channel. I'm so ready to see what happens with everything. This just, got, this just has me amped up. I'm going Halloween 45. Um this week the 45th anniversary convention it feels good to be a halloween fan so to get over into this um article it says so what's next for the halloween franchise blade disgusting can exclusively report that miramax actively shopping the rights to the halloween franchise around hollywood from what we understand there is a massive bidding war going on right now with several different parties instead um vying for the chance to bring Michael Myers back to life. Bloody disgusting sources have also indicated that Miramax is open to both film and television projects and they're currently taking offers from studios and streamers alike. Everything is on the table at this time and it's ultimately up to Miramax to field pitches and decide what is most appealing to them in the wake of Gordon Green's sequel trilogy. So, you all look and it says at the bottom only thing is certain michael myers will be back so like i said to get into it basically it's a bidding war going on with the license for the franchise and they basically said that miramax is open to do both both tv series and films so man this is crazy uh miramax is back at you know that point where they're looking around for um parties in hollywood to you know get halloween back up and running man i cannot wait to see michael back and like i said we talked about this in many videos and many streams uh that you know it could possibly be a television series you know getting deep into how to feel which i don't know i feel like michael's bigger than a television series i feel like he's very much more like on the big screen he, he fits better on a big screen um but yeah i mean i'm down just as long as michael comes back i'm that type of fan long as my guy comes back and um they bring the story of of michael and just the mythology and you know incorporate Haddonfield in there i'm ready man um now that the ball is kind of rolling man more halloween videos and speculation what could it be are just going to drop because now that it's kind of cementing over on bloody disgusting i can't wait um but yeah i think that michael's going to come back full-blown film like i said they got the prequel route uh we found out that daniel harris the you know the direct sequel to halloween 4 will not be in the works possibly uh we can do you know 
a whole 78 remake you can you can do another direct sequel another trilogy you can do all types of stuff just a new story of michael i cannot wait um this is just very exciting news so yeah once again said basically that uh as a part of the pack with Miramax, the ball is now back in Miramax's court. So it's official, man, that uh, the, the license is being shopped around Hollywood. And like I said, I've always wanted to, you know, just kind of throw this out there who I think would be cool to do a Halloween film um, director wise, like Ty West. I think Ty West would be great. Mike Flanagan will do good. Um, those two right there, I think will do a great hollow, especially Ty West, man. You know, with, with that look he did with X, I think he has a, a very distinct, you know, look on his films that kind of can play in part with, you know, Halloween. Same with Mike Flanagan. He's great at telling stories with like little towns and, you know, communities and stuff like that. You know, he'll do great with a Haddonfield story of Michael Myers. And like I said, man, I know that David Gordon Green you know, with him, he kind of keeps the same crew with him, like Chris Nelson. He works with the same guy. So, I mean, if Halloween did come back, only thing that would be scary is that Chris Nelson possibly won't be touching the character of Michael Myers. And you've seen how good he had Michael looking in his recent trilogy. So, um, but I believe in a lot of people um, out there that could basically bring Michael to life. I'm just excited to just finally get some Halloween news that's the minute through Bloody Disgusting. Um, so, this is the future of Halloween, and, and I just can't wait to see what happens. And like I said, if it came down to a yes, I'll accept a TV show because, like I, like I said, I'm the type of fan. Long as Michael's back, uh, just you know, just showing love to the, the, to the, you know, franchise and everything. I just want to really just see Michael Myers back, man. You know who doesn't? We're all fans here, man. If you're watching me right now, you're obviously a Halloween fan. And you want to get in on this update? So yeah, man. Um, I, I feel like if they do do a TV series before we end off, I want to say it has to be something where they dive into how them feel into like other characters, you know, like for example, like a Allison or, you know, a Vicky just having them have side stories. And oh, that's why I said, man, imagine if they would have saved that Corey idea for a television series. It would have been crazy if that whole Corey situation would have happened in a Halloween television series and still you could still, because I feel like the watch time that Michael had on Halloween ends, it would have been unnoticeable, kind of, if it was a TV series, you know what I'm saying? It was focusing more on Corey to build up his character in his TV series. So, yeah, man, I'm very excited to see what happens. Miramax has that those licenses back in their court and they're shopping it around Hollywood. And um, I'm going to be looking out for some more updates. You guys, you already know, this is the channel for Halloween fans. Mike was the face of the channel, so all updates will be posted on here. But comment down below, you all. They said they're open to doing films or a television series. Which one would you rather Halloween return as? A film or a television series? Let me know in the chat. But unfortunately, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to hit me on my social media. I like scary on Instagram. I like scary underscore on TikTok. Brandon on Facebook. I like scary on Twitter. And yeah, you guys, right there where it says join. Definitely think about clicking join to become a member of the channel. Also, think about becoming a patron. Get exclusive content and benefits and yeah you guys i want you to watch some horror movies stay scary out there i love you all peace until next time